I'm Thomas and today you join me down in air at the new Tesla self-serve test drive location. It's down near the air race course and I'm just going to be talking you through today on how I went about booking through the app and my experience with the self-serve location and the new Model Y which I have allocated for my test drive. So stay tuned for this video. <music> So here we are at the self-serve centre just beside the Western House Hotel in Air, and we've got, as you can see, we've got the Model 3 Highland and this Model Y, which is we're going to be taking out today. They do have a little bar scar. There is a little QR code here if you want to go ahead and pause the video and put yourself in for a test drive. Let's have a quick look of the new colour before we go ahead and jump in. This particular one is the dual motor as we can see in the badge in the rear and let's get on with this video so the concept behind it is it's remote you know, there's nobody down there manning it you're able to go in book in the app have, answer some call, uh, questions on a call and book in now i found the booking process really easy you can do the initial booking online or you just download the Tesla app and then type in your, like, your postcode and it comes up with the local locations. I'm in the south side of Glasgow. There is Glasgow Kennedy Street. There's also one out kind of um, Eurocentral way and then the new one down in Air. It just launched at the beginning of July and for options to drive are the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Model 3. Now, when you go into the app, you're able to select your date your time you know obviously it'll block out ones that aren't available and what's great about it is it's just so nice and easy <laughs> you know just to, i find the process, whole process very user friendly very easy to just get in and use um and you know you can identify the car that you want quite easily it does give you some information as well about the vehicle once you're on the app so once you put in your location you have to put your contact information and in, just your name your number your email scheduled for the test drive and the back end of that that goes to your local tesla center then you'll get a call you know to help book that in and confirm things and just identify <laughs> really who you are and confirm who you are and you upload your driver's license on the app so it's quite an easy thing just with the photograph and then you turn up on the day uh, when i turned up on the day i found that I think I was there about 10 minutes before and then I remember standing next to the car at the seat, it was 11 o'clock, it was 10.57 and I literally, as soon as 11 o'clock hits, the car goes from being greyed out on your phone on the app to being there, it says locate the car, I guess if there's multiple, maybe model buys at the location, you're able to flash the lights, honk the horn, you can even play a fart sound, it's quite funny and just very good. Uh, gets marketing and help a useful way to identify the vehicle you can unlock the car with your phone in the app which again is impressive to me just because you don't own that car and you've never paired with it before it all happens seamlessly without you having to worry about anything you get in the car and it comes up with some tutorials and things how to use the screen and just test drive tutorials um, on other parts of the Tesla which you can go through uh, this being the third Tesla that I have reviewed uh, on this Model Y I just decided to kind of dive on in um, and the 2024 model is finished in this lovely grey colour and yeah I thought it was a great experience really easy to operate and a good way to to, you know, test drive a car in your area because if, say for example, if you're down in air, you might not have the time or the energy to drive to Glasgow. Um, and these self-serve locations are starting to pop up in other locations, so they might be coming closer to where you are. Um, and previously, maybe the Tesla Centre was too far. And that's probably the main concept behind it. I just think it's a really great idea. I said it's great if you don't really want to talk to people as well. You can get in, drive your car for the hour, you pull it back, you charge it up. It does time out at your own, like, you know, your hour slot. So make sure you're there probably five minutes before parking it up because you know, it's going to be safety things. So you're not just going to go ahead and steal the car. I presume it is tracked because the Tesla Center were able to do things remotely for me, for example. Um, I was on, because of the, I was doing the video, uh, they were able to help me like lock the car, 
um, to not activate certain things as well, all remotely from Glasgow. So I guess just if any thieves are out there, <laughs> um, they are going to be tracked. But and so overall, I had a really great time. I said I found it dead simple and easy. And I know I'm repeating myself now, but that is just how user friendly the experience was. And if you are looking at electric cars, I would consider Tesla just because of their efficiency, you know, the real dynamics, and the more you research into the cars and the company, you can appreciate behind it. Uh, I know not everybody seems to love the styling of them, um, but if they're on your company car list or something like that, it does make sense. And you've got the Tesla charging network, the front boot I really like, and then the Model Y specifically, the rear leg room and the flat floor just makes it really comfortable and spacious to carry out three people abreast. Um, and that big glass roof as well is going to be great for your passengers. So thank you so much for watching this video on the Tesla Self Serve Centre. If you are in the air area, go check it out. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next video. As always, stay safe, subscribe to the channel below and I'll see you later. Ciao.